And in a five, four, three, two, one. Presto, change of battle. Hey guys, welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar. And as you can plainly see, my friends, it's finally that wonderful time again. It's Buru time. So we're going to check out what he brought. I'm going to give you my two cents. The <clears throat> brand way to miss. Oh, man. Come on. It's, uh, I don't know, whatever for your sigil chest in the form of the lotus with some interesting white strings coming off of it, looking very gooey and flowy. I wonder what those could represent. I have no bloody clue. Yes, very artistic. Peculiar audience. There you go. That's kind of cool. You get Skitter Girl telling you things. Yeah, this, this is the one with Skitter Girl. And you would want that because... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's cool, yeah. Subjectively speaking. Prime, Pistol Gambit. Now, this is critical chance for your secondary weapons. Now, normally, you use the 200% and minus fire rate 1. However, if you don't want to sacrifice the fire rate, this is definitely something that you want to go for. I would still call it a Pry 1. Depending on the weapon, it is definitely needed. What else you got? Prime, quick draw. <laughs> We're all pretty good at that, right, boys? Right, boys? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. 88% reload speed, and this is highly situational depending on the weapon. So, I wouldn't call it a Pry 1. I would give it a Pry 2. If you got the Dugats, pick this one up as well as for mark for the beast nah if you're just collecting i mean it has its uses but it's rather limited prior free on this one so it's pretty simple prior one two and three as for peculiar audience again this is cosmetic so it's entirely down to your options what else we got weapons give me some good weapons we need some good weapon nope 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 no we don't Viper Wraith. This has a really cool augment if you want to get into it. I'm still hoping to see an Incarnate Genesis adapter for it. However, for the time being, let's call it what it is. Mastery Fodder. As for the Opticor Vandal, here's the deal. I love the Opticor. More the OG rather than the Vandal, which is more machine gun, let's say. I would love to see again an Incarnate Genesis adapter for it. It's a cool thematic weapon that, in my opinion, you should get to experience. But it's not a meta weapon. If you're not the type of player that just needs meta everything, you need to try the photo cannon of Warframe, the Opticar Vandal. So we'll definitely pick it up. That's it for the weapons, huh? So what's left? Cosmetics, my friends, and these things. 3-day mod drop chance booster. 500 ducats? Wow. That's stretching it a bit, isn't it? Oh, exosac things. <laughs> we all love our <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. That's all I got. That's all I got. Rest our cosmetics, so... Therefore, subjective and entirely up to you. If you don't have Inaros, pick up the Sands of Inaros Blueprint, which will eventually lead you to Warframe. Inaros is no longer treated like secondhand smoking. It's actually pretty okay now. I wouldn't put them like one of the best Warframes out there, but it's definitely usable. You should check out the Inaros rework done by Pablo. And I think, my friends, that's it. As always, my name is Malaysia. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. If you got any feedback for me, let me know in the comment section down below. Protea Prime is out together with her signature weapons. If you want to see the Velox in action, I got your back. Link the cards right now. Before I go, happy Easter to everybody that is celebrating on Sunday. As always, my name has been Lazar, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. I think I did my outro twice. Did I do my outro twice? Ah, you'll live.